my story about beloved Zikru Lakadim in my little course about touching the hearts is one of my favorite. Mr. Kadim came to Chicago and this was the first Persian hand of the cause. Now, none of us knew much about the hands of the cause. We didn't understand the power. We didn't understand the ranking. At least I didn't. And nobody, I hadn't heard anybody talking so much about it. I, I really believe, I, I, in fact, I know even the hands didn't understand that station. And probably even now, none of us really understand that station. But here we were, and this was a Persian hand of the cause. Now, I, I knew that the Persians had been walking on that holy dust, and they, they had a heritage, a connection with the magnificent dawnbreakers, and so I knew there had to be something special. So in my arrogant young woman fashion, I called up this Persian hand of the cause and says, please let me take you to lunch. I wanted to see what a Persian hand of the cause was like. Well, this dear man, I, he said, of course, yes. And he came down and met me in the hotel lobby and sat facing me on a small settee, and he looked at me. And in the early days, you know, he had a very heavy Persian accent, and I thought, it's going to be hard for these people to understand this man. And so he said to me, he said, what should I, what should I do? What should I tell? What should I share? What do the American friends need to know? And I looked him straight in the eye and I said, oh, Mr. Kadam, please tell them about the beloved guardian. Well, this touched his heart because, of course, there was nothing that he, more that he would rather talk about than the beloved guardian. Then he asked me, he said his wife needed a coat, and did I know a place to shop? Now, there are few people as materialistic as I, and I certainly knew every shop on Michigan Avenue and in the downtown section, so I said, of course. So we went on a bus with this small entourage looking for a coat for Mrs. Kadem. They were all pretty expensive. We stopped at Saks Fifth Avenue. But finally I said, well, we'll go to Marshall Fields. That's a large department store. And there's a great price range there. So when we entered Marshall Fields, I said to him, I said, you know, my mother works here. Would you like to meet her? And so, of course, he said, of course. So my mother really was a, uh, really was a very famous Chicago model. And at that time, she was modeling in the most exclusive store in Marshall Fields. And there was an elevator that directly went to the 28 shop. That's what it was called. So I took Mr. Hadam up in this private elevator, and we walked through pink, thick carpets. And my mother appeared in her beautiful black dress and her gorgeous self. And as all mothers do, she started to brag about her daughter. And dear, dear Mr. Kadem looked at her and said, you know, a fruit is only as good as the tree from which it springs. Well, he touched our hearts with one line. My mother started to weep. I started to weep. And dear Mr. Khadem was standing there in this exclusive shop with these two women weeping. He then went ahead and put me in a cab, still weeping, and even ran along the side of the cab to care for me. That was my first introduction to a Persian hand of the cause. And in a course that I give, they speak of touching the hearts. The beloved guardian speaks of touching the hearts. This man, in one line, touched the heart of my mother. And I'm so grateful. <laughs>